What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well in today's video we are going over Solana as we have lost our red box of support and it does seem as if some type of continuation to the downside may be lingering. So with that being said we're going to take a look at what exactly happened and how we can go about it. So of course with that being said let's skip the BS, let's skip the fluff and let's get straight into the good stuff. So what do we know about Solana? Well one thing we know about Solana is that we have been tracking this macro low to this macro high. Now, as the price has started to reverse and we've started to see a bit of downward pressure from, of course, this overextension to the top side, we've created something of a descending wedge. Now, as we enter, in these to enter into these descending wedges, the most important thing, in my opinion, that we can pay attention to is Fibonacci levels. So what we've gone ahead and done is drawn a Fibonacci from this macro low at around $116 up to the macro high, which is roughly $225. And what we knew is that as we set this low to this high, as we started to pull back, that the price of Solana, if it was going to see a bullish reversal back to the upside off of this downtrend in the short term, it was going to have to come from this 0 0.618 to 0 0.786 level. Generally speaking, this red box that we're going to draw right now, boom, here we go. This red box between the 618 at 170 and the 786 at 146 is going to be the final level of support that will stop you from resorting back to your macro low. And the moment that you lose that 786 and fail to recapture it, it becomes extremely likely that you do revisit those lows. So what that means for us now is that since we did lose this key level of support, and if you zoom in on the four-hour charts, we we failed a back test or uh, a uh, recapturing here. We just back tested as resistance. We saw this SR flip in which this level of support has now flipped into resistance, and now we have this selling pressure pushing us to the downside. All of those things say that we are now eyeing 116 to 117 dollars. Now, remember, in the midterm to long term, I do believe Solana still has a lot of growth, considering it is the sixth largest cryptocurrency and at a 41.8 or 41.3, my apologies, billion dollar market cap. I am still under the belief that as we do see crypto turn around, Solana will as well. But that doesn't mean that kind of towards the short to midterm, things won't get a little bit ugly, especially if we lose one hundred and fifteen dollars. Remember, the whole goal of crypto for us is realistically set higher highs and to set higher lows. But the moment that we start to come back down and set some of these lower lows and we lose these previous levels of support that could entail that some type of downwind is coming in which we do see the price rolling for a little bit more of an extensive period of time, which is, of course, not optimal in that sense. So since we are now in sight of this previous low by losing the 0 0.786 to 0 0.618 support level, that does mean that we are now at the risk of seeing this thing go into some type of extensive fall towards the 60 to 70 to $80 region. Do I think that's going to happen? No, not really, to be honest. But since we are going to likely come back to retest this level, if this downward momentum in the market continues, I am under the belief that we will have to pay very close attention to the fact that that is a possibility. Now, something is happening on the short term charts that is a fantastic sign, at least, that says that there is still a chance that we do continue to see this reversal here and we do continue back to the top side. Now, what that's going to be is the fact that what we're seeing on the charts does seem to be the bulls fighting back. The bulls don't want to go to these lower 116 to 115 dollar levels. One thing that you can see that kind of identifies that is the way in which our RSI is interacting with our price. Now, what I mean by that is as we have been coming down to set some of these extreme lows, right? Lower, low, lower, low, lower, low. And we're kind of getting a bit of a rounding off effect here. On our RSI, you can see that we're setting higher lows. Now, generally speaking, this is going to be what you call bullish divergence. And what it means is that although the price is working its way down, the momentum of things is starting to turn it back around and the bears are struggling in terms of the relative strength index. The strength of their move to the downside is decreasing. And of course, that's always phenomenal because that does show that that the bears may be weakening and as they weaken the bulls have the opportunity to take back over now one thing we can see on the weekly charts as well is a very similar picture playing out what you can see here is that on our rsi we have gone and set you know what looks to be a low and a lower low almost no matter where we go and as long as we are above 115 dollars we are still setting the higher low and so what's great is that in the short term if we do start to see the reversal here we can be looking at what's going to be called you know another case of bullish divergence but this time hidden bullish divergence which what this tells us is that the price though the bears are succeeding in their bearish momentum the price is still holding up well and that they're failing to drag the price down as they are pulling down the momentum with the rsi 
all of that to say that the price is doing well and it's still holding on well. And as that does happen, as the bears do weaken towards some of these lower levels, then that could definitely be a sign that we hold up, we set this higher low, and then we see some growth to the top side. And so what that tells us is that although things are bearish and although we are still in sight to come back to retest $115 right now, it seems as if the bulls are still fighting their asses off to make sure that the price still maintains and we can start to look for a turnaround if the market starts to allow. Now, don't forget, the majority of the market is revolving around Bitcoin right now. So you need not be ignoring the Bitcoin charts. Pay attention to what this thing is doing, because if Bitcoin starts to break some key levels here, you know, back above 43.5K and things of that nature, I'm under the belief that Solana will make that move too. In terms of when I would be buying, personally, I will not be picking up any Solana at the moment unless we were to clear like $150 on a daily close, because until we start to see some local highs getting set, it does seem as if we are still trapped within this downtrend, and I obviously don't want to just be purchasing in the middle of a downtrend. So with that being said, my overall thesis for today and my opinion on everything is that though we have lost a very key level of support and we may be aiming at $115, it does seem like the bulls are still stepping in and they are looking to mass accumulate at key levels of support, which definitely could hold us up. And if it is, you know, if the bulls are successful in holding us up and allowing us to set a no, I know, you know, another low and start to see some reversal here, it does seem as if we will have this hidden bullish divergence to really help catapult the price up to some of these higher price targets so with that being said that's my overall opinion for today definitely keep an eye on 115 dollars and i'm not necessarily buying until we get back above 145 to 150 i don't think that anything until then would justify a purchase for me and so with that being said i will continue of course to update you all as that does happen of course if you do enjoy these shorter straight to the point videos you can always let me know simply by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new and i'll see you all next time peace